Welcome to DJ Manager Video Training presented by Scott Favor. You can contact us at scott at thepartyfavors.com. Call us toll free anytime in the continental US or Canada, 866 569 1793. Find us and fellow DJ Manager users on Facebook. And a friendly reminder that DJ Manager is designed for PCs using Windows XP through Windows 7, and you must have a working copy of the software Word version 1995 through 2008 in order to take advantage of the many features that are DJ Manager. We continue with contacts and entities, people in your DJ Manager database. This is part five, venues and vendors. Let's get started. The first venue that we're going to look at, contacts, entities, is a place called the Garden Room. And the Garden Room is in Garden Grove, California. Click change, and you can see that we have it listed as a business. It is not a client, but it is a venue, which is checked off, and it is not in the way we set up our DJ manager considered a competitor or a vendor but it is predominantly a venue. And once you click that option, the tabs at the top change to offer you some additional features. You get the general tab, as always, the contact info tab, and this is an unlimited list of all the people that work at the garden room. Now, there may be more people that work at this venue that are on my list. These are just the two that I happen to have information regarding how they were referred to us, um, are they part of an advertising source, is there a sales representative that is attached to this particular venue, um, and client events. This refers to if the garden room had hired us, such as for their holiday party, which they have not, as you can see. However, under the venue info tab, you can see that we do have a list of all the events that we have performed at the garden room. Now this is a confirmed event and then the rest of the list looks like a bunch of events that have closed meaning that we've already done the performance. But we can even show open events by clicking the little box down here at the bottom and it will show you that we actually have one other event that's still considered open. Or if you want to look at all the events including those that were lost or cancelled events you can see that the list will grow. So it gives you the option to look at specifically those that are confirmed closed or um, something that might be an open event that's an upcoming event that you might need to do a follow-up call to. In addition to the event information that is attached to the venue, there are room details which are very, very helpful. So this particular venue has a wedding chapel and you could click change and if the chapel had a name or if they had multiple chapels, you could list them here. You could um, include the information regarding the capacity for the chapel. So if a bride calls you and says, I'm looking for a venue that has a chapel or a, a venue that has a gazebo, and then you'd be able to say, well, that particular chapel holds 200 people. Um, there's no bounce problem. That's a little colloquial since very few DJs are still playing vinyl, but you never know. Um, are there steps? That's an important question. Is there an elevator? Uh, what floor number is it on, and do you require road assistance? In other words, you need a roadie, somebody to assist you in the setup for this particular venue, or in specific, this room. Um, and then this is listed simply as the main ballroom. For larger hotels, you'll have salon A, B, and C, or, or sometimes they'll give you different uh, configurations of A, B, and C, so it'll be ballrooms C and D, or it'll be, you get the idea. Um, if there happens to be a fancy hotel like the Hilton, a lot of times their floor plans will be online. And so what I like to do is include here in the notes the URL of the floor plan. And that way I can simply copy it. When I want to copy it, paste it into my um, browser and it will take me to the floor plan that will show me that specific room. Driving directions are on this tab and these are detailed directions from Orange County, from San Diego, from Yorba Linda, from Los Angeles and you can fill in the blanks as you like right there. If you'd like to include things like uh, travel distance or travel time you can include that information as well. Notes regarding the uh, venue, 
And that gives you a good overview of what happens when you click the venue box for one of your entities in DJ Manager. You also have vendors such as photographers, videographers, wedding coordinators, and the like. One of my favorite vendors is Fenton Photography. And we can click change on Fenton Photography. He is listed as a vendor. And we describe his service in the entity category here that he's a photographer or photography service. The mail category is photographer. Uh, list of all the contacts at Fenton Photography. And a nice little fun feature here is events vendor at which simply means if you click on that box it will show you all the events that you have done with this particular vendor. Unlike venues, you cannot click on any of these options. You, you would have to find, uh, for example, Corey and Christina or Rick uh, Flores, uh, Florence. Um, you'd have to find them under entities and then find them that way. Um, this is simply just a list, but it is very helpful. You do have the uh, show open events option and show the uh, canceled events option here as well that can help you to determine what the view looks like. And again, notes, details in regards to this particular service and the contacts, their web address here on the contact info page. And that is a brief overview of venues and vendors for DJ Manager. Contact us at scott at thepartyfavors.com. Call with your questions, answers, and ideas at 866-569-1793. Join us on Facebook, DJ Manager, and we'll look forward to sharing another lesson with you again soon. Thanks.